All right. I guess we're on again, aren't we? Okay, good. Doc South here. Uh, you know, I just realized uh, what these you see in my my uh, eyes, the uh, on the glasses, the uh, yeah, the bright light. I was I always thought I'm kind of doing this one, uh, this video early in the morning before it got light out. Plus, it looks like it's going to be a cloudy day anyway. Uh, I thought it was the window. Uh, you know the the studio uh, window. No, it's uh, the, this uh, square light you see in my eyes is the uh, is the computer screen. Yeah, it's it's whatever uh, I read on the computer. I didn't realize that. Ah, no, because look, see, I, I think if I put, can you see it? I I'm yeah. See, you can see my hand. <laughs> right. See. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, block. But it's kind of neat. Anyway, here I thought I'd read one about uh, breakfast. <laughs> breakfast, uh, uh, not my breakfast. A uh, breakfast for our our basset hound Millie. Uh, I'm working on a book called uh, Millie's Itinerary. Millie's Itinerary, and it's uh, well, I'm kind of I'm kind of excited about it. It's basically a day in the life of our basset hound. Uh, well, Millie. And uh, a rather, well, it's just a, a minute by minute account of a typical day. And today I, I made her one of her special breakfasts. She doesn't always get that, but I, we, then again, quite often she does. Uh, I'll read this to you. Okay. And again, this is just one of, oh gosh, this thing's about, let's see, it's up to about 33,000 words, the, uh, the entire story so far and uh, growing. Uh, so this is just one little segment. Uh, for instance here, Millie's itinerary, 8.30 a.m. Okay. She's been up, she's been walked, now it's time for breakfast. Okay. From the kitchen counter, I can see Millie posing in her where's my breakfast pose. She's flat bellied, resting on her haunches with her forelegs stretched out in front. Most would say she kind of looks like a small version of the Sphinx. Only uh, in her case, her head is cocked to her right and her tongue is hanging out. She's hitting me with uh, her where's my breakfast look. With one or two short barks from the living room, I'm told to make it snappy. <laughs> I am. Oh, he's such a bossy old dog. Oh, my gosh. But a real love, too. Well, here, let me continue. I throw on my chef's hat as I open the refrigerator. I, I glance around at the wire shelves and dig around in the various plastic bins. Okay, I see we have some nice sharp cheddar. There's a container of shredded white meat rotisserie chicken shreds. Uh, oh, a container of plain rice pudding hollers to me and raises its hand. Uh, uh, I see another winner behind the pickle jar. That's That would be a few wrapped up slices of thin sliced uh, Virginia ham. Now, where's the peanut butter? Wait, oh, wait, that's in the cupboard. Peanut butter, according to Millie, must always be served at room temperature, of course. Uh, I, I was hoping to find that the uh, that leftover meatloaf from last night, but I guess Millie must have been walking in her sleep again last night. Uh, don't know how she does that, but yeah. Uh, I place all the food on the counter in front of the microwave, and all I'd need to do now is to find Millie's favorite breakfast plate. It's a cream-colored saucer with yellow trim and a ring of raised dots along the edge. On the bottom flip side, uh, it says the pattern is known as Victorian pearls. It just wouldn't be breakfast without it, right? It's That's her plate, uh, and she knows. Okay, I find the plate, and my canine culinary magic begins. First, I hold all the ingredients up to my nose to check for freshness. Sometimes the chicken gets a bit out of date, and then, well, it's got to be taken to the rear deck and thrown over the rail for the uh, river mice and the more carnivorous birds living out back. Uh-huh. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me again. I am getting rid of this cold and it's just lingering on a little bit yet. Quite a quite a crowd of both uh, carnivorous birds and mice are uh, waiting at sunup most every morning for Millie's scraps. If there's too many birds of prey nearby, some of the uh, well, some of the diners become the meal. Uh, the eagles are always soaring overhead. Given a chance, they'll eat the whole crew and the scraps too. In fact, the other day, man, an eagle swooped down, got a squirrel. Oh, oh, it was over fast. Oh, my gosh. Uh, well, and um, sad for the squirrel, but I guess, yeah, the eagle, well, eagle's got to eat too, I suppose. 
Uh, this morning, every and and they they don't no they 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 don't go to McDonald's. <laughs> they just no, they uh, yeah they catch as catch can I suppose. Uh, this morning, everything passes this uh, the sniff test, so nothing gets thrown over the rail. The rice pudding almost didn't pass muster at first, but with a little stirring, it regained its usual consistency of lumpy old spackle. Uh, just to be nice, I waited for the birds of prey to move on, and then I pitched uh, a few old chow mein noodles uh, down to the mice. It, it keeps them from climbing up and snooping around our kitchen. Uh, by now, I missed uh, two or more weather reports. Heaven help me if I take a moment and run to the living room just to catch a glimpse. Uh, the good citizens of San Francisco, 3,000 miles away, will hear Millie's howls of anguish if I pause in mid-prep. So the uh, shredded uh, chicken forms the base of today's uh, special. I, I carefully slice it uh, into bite-sized pieces and arrange it all into a nice loose circle. Then I unfold the Virginia ham and cut it into quarters and lay that, uh, lay that on top of the chicken. Uh, the cheddar gets cut into cubes. Every other cube gets a little dab of peanut butter smeared on its top. Uh, these are placed in a circle around the mound of chicken and ham. I must be sure to place the cubes in a perfect circle around the chicken in an alternating pattern. It must be cheese and peanut butter cube, then plain, then cheese and peanut butter cube, and so on. You get the idea. Quit laughing. Okay. Uh, the, the biggest cheese cube gets placed so that it nestles right in the center of the X and the ham slices uh, form. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, gosh. Let's see. Uh, I, I, I missed my place. Okay, yeah, there you go. The biggest cheese cube gets placed so that it nestles right in the center of the X that the ham slices form once in position. Uh -huh. To cleanse her palate, Millie demands that a small dollop of rice pudding be placed on the edge of her plate, no closer than one inch from the ring of cheese. She especially likes when I get up my tweezers and remove three or four grains of rice from the edge of the rice pudding container and use them to make a tiny smiley face on top of her rice pudding. If I do that, she'll save the rice pudding for, for last. <laughs> That's enough for now. Uh, I hope you didn't mind my coughing too much. And uh, again, this cold say actually it's uh, working in a dairy aisle in the cold. Actually, I think is good for a cold because normally I used to be I'd get, oh, gosh, when I was a boiler maker and worked in the heat, gosh, a cold could linger for uh, uh, two weeks. You work in the cold and for some reason I think it kills the germs. The cold germs can't take the cold. <laughs> Go figure. Anyway, uh, we'll see you later, friends. Thank you and God bless. Oh, wait a minute. Where, where's that button here? There it is.